Here are four easy steps to remember how to draw quadratic graphs. This is a quadratic function in its general form. To draw this, we're going to use the acronym STIX. S stands for shape. There are two possible shapes for a quadratic graph. If the number next to x squared is positive, the graph looks like it's a smiley shaped curve. If it's negative, the graph looks like a sad shaped curve. You can use your imagination. T stands for turning point. This is the part of the graph where the curve turns in the opposite direction. Here, I'll have to complete the square for the expression. Link in the comments below. Now that it's in completed square form, I take out whatever's in the bracket right here and then make it equal to zero. When we solve for x, we are actually getting the x coordinate of the turning point. For the y coordinate, just take the number outside the bracket. Y stands for y intercept, which just means where the graph cuts the y axis. Any point on the y axis always has an x value of 0, so just substitute that into the function to get the value of y. Likewise, x just means the x intercept. Now, every point on the x axis has a y coordinate of 0, and we're going to substitute that into the function to get the value of x. All that's left to do is to plot down the turning point, x and y intercepts, then draw the shape that you decided on earlier, and your drawing will be complete. Follow me for more math tips just like this.